Hi, beautiful. Sorry, that was a bit loud. Hi, beautiful. Today we're watching some people give themselves dramatic, insane, <laughs> hypnotizing color makeovers. I've been told that these videos today are so captivating and so exciting to watch. I need that in my life. So let's watch them. But wait a damn second. Today's video would not be possible without our sponsors, Scentbird. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring. I love Scentbird. I literally douse myself in fragrance 24 seven. So I wanna bring you guys along with me to get ready for today's video while I talk about my love for fragrance. Let's do it. I first like to start off with some makeup. I gotta look good on camera, okay? There's a lot of people watching. So I already put some foundation on, but now I'm just putting on some blush, you know, get those oils out. I always look so oily. It really comes through. Now I'm gonna do my hair. I don't ever know what to do with my hair for some reason. I can do other people's hair, but not my own. So I ended up going with this like wet look, but it kind of just looks like my hair is a little stringy. <laughs> I don't know if I'm vibing with this at all, but this is what we're going with. And I'm gonna put a little hairspray on. Boom, 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 boom. Spray, spray, spray. Oh. <laughs> And now I can't breathe. I always spray too much because I love hairspray. Now let's get dressed. It is hot today and I just want to wear something fun, easy, cute, and movable, you know? I just bought this really cute black ribbed tank top. It's kind of like mesh with the ribbing on the sides and the top of it. This is definitely what I'm wearing today. Now, of course, I need to put some jewelry on because no outfit of mine is complete without some jewelry. This one is really cute. I am going to go with this. It has a little green accent, a little crystal in the middle. It's grungy, but like still refined and cute. I don't know. I love it. I'm going to put some rings on to complete the look and now I feel cute even when I'm filming even when I'm like going to bed sometimes I put fragrance on to feel just confident and really cute I personally love to mix my fragrances I use two at a time typically so I'm first applying my perfume de Marley and the scent is called Haltane it smells delicious it is that smooth sexy masculine scent that I love so much and also look at how cute this packaging is it is magnetic it opens like that you can read the bottle and it has this cute locking mechanism so you can like travel with it and it's super easy to bring along anywhere even in like a purse or anything like that i'm now putting on my aqua de parma new colonia club it is also just that sexy masculine fragrance but they're super fresh and light honestly these two together make the perfect combination it is sexy it smells like a hot man just came out of the shower the shower scent has just gone into the hallways of the home and you can just smell it like they smell so clean but also so masculine Masculine. I love that combination. All right, I'm finally ready to go film. Let's get on to set and start this video. Hi guys, you're back to the current times. Welcome. Um, Yeah, so I smell so good right now. Scentbird is so great for somebody like me who likes to wear multiple fragrances at a time and loves to change up their fragrances a lot and try new things. Every like month I have a new personality, so I need a fragrance to go with it. But it's also just great for somebody who likes to smell good in general. A subscription cost to Scentbird is $17 a month and you get one fragrance. They have a selection of so many different scents. They even carry brands like Prada, Gucci, Versace. They have perfumes and they have colognes. Every different scent you could possibly imagine. Each of these last 30 days. That way you can try it before buying the full size. They also carry indie brands like Skylar, Heretic, and Confessions of Rebel. And of course, I got something good for you guys. Use code BRAD today to get 55% off your first month with Scentbird. And also thanks again to Scentbird for sponsoring today video. Don't forget to click the link below to get your 55% off your first month at Scentbird. Let's watch some videos. <laughs> what? Okay, so first she took the red out and I was like, she has beautiful, perfectly blonde hair. And I was like, just a little bit nervous for her to go red. I felt like she knew what she was doing, you know? But she got that red out and she started to... <laughs> I was just so excited that I just spat at myself. She started applying just the red to the tips of her hair and I was like, oh, <laughs> where are we going with this? And it progressed and I was like, oh, so we're doing just the tips all around and she has this super layered haircut. This was the point where I got really interested in what was going on and then we ended up with this result. Dude, that is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. It is such a unique look that I haven't really seen many other people rock. The layered cut with the tips colored like that. It's just a perfect combination. In the blowout, it looks like her hair is like flames. It is fire, but it also looks like it's lit on fire. It 
it's also giving kind of like devil horns at the top. Like, I don't know. Everything is just really coming together for me and creating this magical masterpiece that you just did on your head. Like, this is so artistic and beautiful. Oh my God, the blonde also just is perfect for your skin tone. It's like this nice silvery white color. I am just all around amazed by your artistry and the way that you got that to perfectly fade into red on your ends and it doesn't just like have a line. It was just like a great idea and perfect execution. Great job. We're already starting out today's video with a very satisfying look. Is somebody gonna beat her or what? Cause like that can't be the best today, right? That color looks so good on him. It is not easy to rock green. I've tried before. I did yellow and green, and let me just tell you, it wasn't that my color. It just wasn't me. And people often like to gas me up and tell me I can rock any color, but you lied. Because I couldn't rock that color. Also, the dark roots was just a beautiful touch. The fact that this person is definitely a hairdresser helps because those foils looked good. She also did not lighten the hair to a pale white yellow. She lightened it to more of this yellow yellow, which is good because green is made with yellow. So if you have a base that is more yellow, you're gonna get more like neon greens, which I like. I like when they have depth. I don't like when people over lighten the hair and then put green on top of it. It becomes more of a flat green green that way. So great idea. The dark roots, a perfect little touch. And then we did the different shades of green all over and he just ended up with the most iconic look ever. And to top it off, it glows in the dark. Sick. It was just such a great like added special touch that it glows in the dark. And now I love it even more. Like I love when hair color can interact with the environment and it becomes an art piece and just a whole ass moment on somebody's head. It's just so fun. I'm having a manic episode. So we're dying and cutting all of my hair off and I'm halfway through. So let's get into it. This is what having a manic episode looks like. And I have one almost every week. So to me, it's normal. I get it. No, I do. You don't even have to explain to me what a manic episode looks like because I also have them every week. Tara, put the bleach and scissors down. But I kept going. I bleached this and this because I'm gonna make them lime green. Okay. Oh, she's going for it. Right now, the hair's not looking too good. I don't exactly know what's going on with this bang region. It looks a little crispy and fried, but you know, she's putting green over it. Hopefully it covers up all of that banding and stuff going on. <laughs> Ugh, this is all the store had right now and I had to do it right now, so. Is this not giving Nickelodeon slime green? Hey, but look at that color. It's so much fun. Uh, hair is so much fun. She's really giving manic panic. Before I forget, someone told me that I should do lime green eyebrows. Okay, hold on a damn minute. We're going for lime green eyebrows now, dude. Ah, this is getting scarier and scarier. I just don't know what this look is about to be. I don't know what's going on with the back either. Like it seems to have a blue color on the back and the bang is left blonde and then there's green on the sides and then there's blue green I don't even know there's just so much going on I don't know if this is a good idea is basically what I'm trying to say absolutely why did I never think of that okay now that I'm slaying so hard it literally hurts I'm gonna mix the color I'm gonna use this vivid pervana blue I'm also gonna mix it with green and black this is the blue I did it I made the blue it's hard to see I know my skin is stained it happens every time I've been blue for two, two, three years. She's gonna have to be so careful when rinsing out this color so that they do not bleed into each other. Good luck or else you're gonna end up with some like mucky, ugly green. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I'm gonna let this sit for an hour and a half and I'm gonna wash it out. An hour and a who? Girl, for who? For what? You don't need to let it sit that long. Just do whatever the instructions say. I think Manic Panic is like 20 minutes, so I just don't know why. You're letting it sit for an hour and a half. And then I'm gonna keep cutting my hair off into a mullet. Okay, I'll see you soon. Okay, we're back, people. I did it. This is the hair. I know you had zero faith in me. I do love it. Um, This is her. I cut more of the sides off. Uh, made this green, which is so fun because it's like a little poof of green. The only thing is the green keeps rubbing on the blue. So the lime green probably won't last forever. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry.
<laughs> the haircut? You're telling me you did that yourself? How did you do that yourself? The undercut is undercutting. The only like thing that I would say that I would have liked better, but also like I like how it is now a lot, is if you put the green on the entire underneath of the bang. Like I like the variation of the green and the blonde, but like, I don't know. The green underneath the blue is just so good. And the way she sort of like shredded up the hair and like razored it so that you can see all that green underneath and the blue is really like PC and the styling, like the texture she gave it, everything just really came together. I seriously was doubting you. And also the makeup with the hair look. Ah, this is called living your extra life. I forgot she colored her eyebrows green too. Like it looks so normal on her. Go off. Okay, so she starts off with this palette that is just a hairdresser's dream. Just long, beautiful, pale blonde hair. It looks pretty even, and it's so nice and thick, and she has a great hair texture. It's nice and wavy. Ooh, it is delicious. Then she spooks me a little bit, right? She shows me uh, some greens, some yellows, some reds. I mean, not green, sorry. Whoa, <laughs> we're not in green anymore. Reds, oranges, yellows, and it's looking good so far. And then she starts applying these colors in all different places throughout the head, right? She's got some red in the back, some yellow in the front, orange on the roots. I don't know at this point how this is going to come together, but I'm very interested. And then I see with all the color on and I'm like, okay, maybe this isn't dark enough for her head. Like, I don't know if this is going to just wash out right away. I kind of wish it was brighter. And then she hits us with the fuck banger. She says, fuck you, Brad. This is the vibe. And I'm like, Oh, yes it is. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. Oh my God, the variations of the pinks and the oranges and the yellows all throughout her head. It looks like balayage with fashion colors. Like it just looks so perfectly done and so professionally done. The vibes are immaculate. It's like a very beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sunset. Unbelievable job. And her hair is so healthy. I cannot believe that's all her real hair and no hair extensions. Like, <laughs> damn. Guys, the at-home color transformations these days are just they are just spectacular. They are inspiring for me as a hairdresser. Like I am taking inspiration from you guys. Like you are really leading the way. Every alternative person in the world is leading the way. You guys eat. She starts with her roots and I was like, ah, you know, I hate when people start with the roots. Ah. And then I realized, okay, so she's doing like a hot root moment. That is daring. To make a hot root look purposeful is very difficult. So she did the roots, she bleached them out. Impeccable bleach job. It has a nice fade in the bangs because she didn't do a line across the bang. She did a bit of a diffuse look with the lightener and she gets this awesome like staggered black and blonde look in her bangs. Then she hits me with the orange, which then also freaked me out because orange and black, you know, it's Halloween. And I don't know, I was born on October 28th. You know, Halloween is my vibe every year. I don't exactly like it in the hair, but I like the event of Halloween, but then she rinses this color off and it's not giving Halloween at all for some reason. It's just giving f cool and punk. Okay, maybe it's giving like a little bit of a pumpkin, but I love it. And with the makeup and the spider tattoo, everything is just perfect. Perfect. Oh my God. That is such a fabulous look. And it's also really unique and interesting. Just like the first look we saw, like I love it.
I've definitely seen this video, but it's from a long time ago. And oh my God, I forgot how good the result was. They started off with this light pastel pink color and then they bleached it, which I actually don't know why they bleached it because you could just put purple over pink. It would be a little more of like a bright purple. But I also think maybe they wanted to bleach their roots. Who knows? And then they put the purple on and I'm like, okay, fine. This is like a fun, this is, you know, this is really cute. But like, it's nothing like we've seen in other videos. Like these color transformations are wild today. But then I was like, what the f Super purple is so bright and their haircut looks so perfect with this purple color. And then it got even better because then they showed us this in the sunlight. Oh my God, it is a actual neon purple. They look incredible. Oh my God, the sectioning was like perfect. There was not one single hair out of place on that head. Oh, I love to see it. And then they hit us with all this rainbow color. Even when she's putting a light green next to a dark blue, the lines stay crisp and clean and there is no cross contamination. That is so hard to do. I mean, really just incredible application. And then the result, she hits us with the beautiful rainbow, perfect waves. It's so pretty. Oh my God, I want this hair on my head. My favorite part is the dark blue and the turquoise moment. Like I just love those colors together. They really pop for me and the whole look is just really special. Oh. You guys, <laughs> I need flames on my head right no those are so sick i love it so much oh my god beautiful artistry beautiful blend with the colors the yellows and the oranges and the reds perfectly together i just love a shaped head with a design on it the vibes are just so good that was just so satisfying i really don't have much else to say i just loved that wow i can definitely confirm that those were fabulous and gorgeous <laughs> I loved every one of those videos. Those were so fun to watch. If you want to check out any of my hair color or my hair care products, you can do so with the link right down below or go to xmonahair.com. And also thanks again to Scentbird for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to click the link below to get your 55% off your first month at Scentbird. That is all for today. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. I'll see you next time. Bye.